Hey guys, Keon here from the Rocket Hideout, coming at you with another Top 10 Pokemon video. This time I'm going to be doing my Top 10 Pokemon for the Electric Typing, so let's just jump into it. Number 10. For number 10, we have Jolteon coming in and claiming the spot. The reason why I put Jolteon in the number 10 spot is because of its design and its competitive usage. Jolteon aesthetically looks freaking sick, plus it's fun to evolve since it's an OG evolution. All you have to do is use a Thunderstone to evolve Eevee and bam, you have a Jolteon. I feel like every Gen 1 -er had a Jolteon on the team since it was fast and hard hitting to an extent back in Generation 1. Low speed comes its frail defense, it can barely take on threats like Golem and Rhydon. Back in Generation 1, it was sitting in OU which was awesome because not many things can contest it. But as the game grew, Jolteon ended up in RU and Sun and Moon and recently moved back to UU and Sword and Shield. I love the fact that it's first filled with electricity and I love its aesthetic and move pool. Back in generation 1, you didn't have many options to pick from for evolution, so it makes sense to have a Jolteon just so that you can shit on your friends and threats that they have that they bring, essentially. In the anime, we see Jolteon all the time, and I think the most notable episodes with Jolteon was when we were first introduced to the Evolution Brothers, and each one had a different type of evolution. Overall, it's an awesome mon and fun to use, but not the best electric type, and that's why Jolteon should be in the number 10 spot on this list. Number 9. Unpopular opinion, but Voltorb is one of the coolest electric types, but man, this Pokemon is hot dog shit competitively. I like Voltorb because it was created right after Pokeballs were created in the Pokemon universe. We don't know where it came from, um, it just came out of the cut one day and people were just like, oh whoa. I love Voltorb and Electrode because they're unstable and tend to explode or self-destruct a lot, and it can't take a hit. It literally explodes just by rolling around or getting tipped over, which is wild. I look you feel bad for anyone who really has who has one or has to work in a power plant with one. This design is pretty straightforward, it's a Pokewall, an Electrode is an inverted Pokewall. I haven't seen Voltorb a lot in the anime, it's been a while. I know Gen 1 anime had an episode where they talked briefly about it, but other than that, it doesn't get much exposure in mainstream media. Now here's where it gets interesting. Just like Porygon, Voltorb is actually an aesthetically pleasing Pokemon to look at because it translates well to Vaporwave and Pokewave. As for competitively, um, Voltorb sits in the Little Cup, which is the big yikes, and Electrode is untiered as of Sun and Moon. It's just so bad to use, but that's okay though. Overall, I love this Pokemon, that's why I think it should be number 9 on this list. Number 8. <laughs> for number 8, you'll be shocked at who owns the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, for number 8 we have Electro Buzz Wild now. Electro Buzz is one of my favorite Electro types back in Gen 1 and Gen 2. Hell, even Gen 4 when it got a new evolution. It's not a bad mon. If I had to nitpick one thing I hate about this Pokemon, it's the way it sounds in the anime, dude. Like, I hate that sound, dude. Like, I hate it. But other than that, it's sick. I love the fact that it has to wind up its arms in order to generate electricity. I remember catching one in the back of Fire Red and Leaf Green and transferring Electro Buzz and Coliseum. I love this design since it's black and yellow. And the only episode where I remember seeing Electro Buzz uh, was in Gen 1 where that town had two gangs that wanted to be legal Kanto gyms. One gang had Electro Buzz and the other had Scyther. Also in Gen 2, there was an episode where this chick, uh, the Ash Met, loved this baseball team called the Electro Buzz. Uh, pretty wild times in competitive play. Electro Buzz sits in NU, which is pretty bad, I think. It's not the best, but if you're just uh, playing for fun, not playing seriously, I think it's a cool little Pokemon, and I think it's worth having and training up, especially since it has a pre-evolution Alakid and an evolution Electivire. <laughs> Number 7. Number 7, I would have to say, belongs to Magneton. I love this Pokemon because it was one of the OG electric types that you would see people using back in Red and Blue. I remember when Magneton was still an electric type Pokemon until Gold and Silver introduced the Steel Typing, and those were wild times, high key. But the reason I added Magneton to the list is, is because it's sick to have, fun to look at, and train up as well. Competitively, Magneton bounced everywhere from OU to NU, as the Sun and Moon as it's in UU. And overall, I really love Magneton. I've always used one and trained one up, but there are other electric types I have that I'll class it pretty hard. I hope to see more people use it competitively as well. Number 6. Number 6 I think is one of everyone's favorite electric types. The spot goes to Luxray. I always tell my viewers that I really wasn't there for Gen 4 all that much, but I recently played Platinum. I bought it a couple months ago and damn, it was fun. 
currently right now my lux ray is level 57 and i'm about to beat elite 4 so that should be fun and in sun and moon i have a couple of 100 lux rays that i put in the polka bank i also love the way lux ray looks like a sphinx and lion put together plus it's an electric type in the pokemon manga harada also owns a lux ray which is cool and competitively lux ray currently sits in the untiered rank it's probably because it's not a lot of people use this Pokemon, but overall, it's one of my favorite Pokemons, even if it's untiered. And after this video, I hope to see more people use it. Number 5. Number 5 is for the best electric type legendary out there, Zapdos. So I have this rule that I don't use legendaries just because they have high base stats, but damn, Zapdos is fun to use in double battles with access to Tailwind and Heat Wave. I hard spam Zapdos to the point where my brother created a multitude of teams just to shut me down pretty hard. Not only that, but Zapdos I think is pretty iconic since it's part of the bird trio and also appeared in the second movie of Pokemon. I also think going to the power plant back in Leaf Green and Fire Red is also really nostalgic and really iconic. Zapdos is a really strong Pokemon so I feel bad for hard spamming it, but it really just has everything you need for a double battle. On top of that, it looks sick. Zapdos generates electricity and its wings you can say are even made out of lightning and electricity, that's why you find it in the power plant. Overall, Zapdos has this aesthetic to it that makes you nostalgic of better times when Red and Blue were still around. Now, I barely see it. And to be honest, this is why I think it's one of my favorites and comes into the number 5 for this list. Number 4. For number 4, I have to say Manetric would be one of my all-time favorite Electro-type Pokemon. Manetric is one of those Pokemons that I first met through Pokemon Coliseum. I saw it a lot by other trainers in the game, and I know in the versus menu, when you hooked up two controllers and played against your buddy, you also had the option of using Manetric in one of the battle teams. This Pokemon is sick because it's an electric dog. Even though it's somewhat frail, it's awesome to use. With the Oros remakes, we also get to see Manetric get access to a Mega Evolution, which I think makes this Pokemon even cooler. Its whole body is a lightning bolt. Manetric's design, I think, is simple yet complex. I think it's really appropriate for what they were trying to implement. It's practically a dog, and there's only so much you can do to a dog to turn it into a monster, you know? Competitively, Manetric sits in PU, but Mega Manetric is an UU. Overall, I think it's a decent Pokemon to use, and I'll continue to use it for a while. This is one of my favorite Electro-type Pokemon. Number 3. Holy shit, when I saw this Pokemon, I lost my shit. When Sun and Moon came out, one of the first Electro-type Pokemons I got was a Vicable. I can't express just how much I really love this Pokemon. It's really out of this world. I love the fact that its design is a small larva of a stag beetle that eventually pupates and turns into said beetle. I also love that it's a huge bug electric type. I feel like it's faster and stronger than most electric types, but it's kind of like a glass cannon, but damn, it can't take a hit for shit. Normally Vicobolt sits in NU, but it's really fucking strong in VGC, and was used in VGC 2017, which I think should have some notoriety. Overall, I think Vicobolt is one of the most fire bug types that we had in a long time in terms of design and competitive play and typing. Number 2. Coming into the number 2 spot is Lantern. Lantern is interesting because it came out in Generation 2. It's a water electric type with both the ability Volt Absorb and Water Absorb, which is pretty good actually. I like Lantern because it's a deep sea angler fish swimming in the depths. I remember that you had to fish one in Johto, but in Ruby and Sapphire you had to dive in order to get one, which is freaking sick since the depths are eerie and full of adventure. I really think Lantern is underrated because I feel not a lot of people use them. I love the design and everything about it. Overall, I think everyone should start using Lantern more because it's actually not that bad of a Pokemon. I feel like it can be used well in VGC and has its attributes that make it unique compared to other Pokemon. I just really love this Pokemon and I never get tired of using it. Number 1 The number 1 spot is owned by the best Electro-type Pokemon I could have for my list. My number one favorite electric type Pokemon would have to be Ampharos. The first time I ever saw Ampharos was when I first got Pokemon Coliseum. I ended up catching a Flaffy that later evolved into Ampharos and man, let me tell you, I was having a blast. I went to Mount Battle and did the 100 trainer challenge over and over just so I can level it up to 100 faster. I love that it evolves from a sheep and it also has a mega evolution that turns it into a dragon type as well, which is crazy. It's normally used to generate electricity for buildings like lighthouses and stuff like that, and in Generation 2 you also had to cure it of sickness when you wanted to fight Jasmine at the Olivine City Gym. Ampharos was introduced in Generation 2, you could pick up any Mareep anywhere and level it up, and back then, competitively, it was living in new U tier, but now it's untiered and Mega Ampharos struggles to go past RU. It's fairly weak, but that's okay. I still love this Pokemon. I have a lot of memories training it up during the Game Boy Advance and GameCube days, so I guess I'm seeing Ampharos through nostalgic goggles, but it's okay. And that's why these Pokemon I listed are my favorite Electro-type Pokemon. 
If you like this video, make sure to give a thumbs up and turn the bell icon for more videos that I post. And if you agree with this video or disagree or have any opinions, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. And also let me know what video I should do next. This is Keon of the Rocket Hideout, signing out.